This is a quick video look at the Radio Flash Trigger Kit. This is a review sample that was sent to me. This is the transmitter section which fits into the hot shoe here. You can see the locking nut. Here we have a PC sync port. If your camera has a PC sync port, you have a cable that you get with this. You can just plug it into the camera via that. You don't have to put it on hot shoe. On the underside here we have switches. Now you use a combination of these to get the same channel as the receiver units. You have 16 that you can pick. This is just set the default settings at the minute. And here's a screw here. You take that out and you can change the alkaline battery. On the top section is a test button here and you see the LED lighting up when you fire that. I'll just put that into the hot shoe. Now a quick look at the receiver unit. You have the hot shoe here which takes the flash. Same arrangement of switches here so that you match the channels between receiver and the transmitter and the on off button here which will light when you fire it. On the underside a thread for a tripod and here we have the battery cover and there's two AAA batteries in there. Just a very quick demonstration very simple, you set your flashes up how you want and the power output that you want and then once you push the shutter button it fires the flash. Now there's no line of sight between this and the flash that I have set up on the other side of the room. The test button here you can test to see whether or not you're getting the signal ok and whether the flashes are firing ok. So overall it's a very good little kit especially for starting off. It is manual, you'll have to adjust the exposure on the camera and on the flashes but it's a really good way of starting off with a more affordable wireless flash kit so therefore I think it's I think it's a good buy at this price point. Certainly been reliable with the distances outside it says up to 40 meters I haven't tested it to that degree but inside no problems at all with the 10 meters if not slightly more it depends on the walls and other areas that might be in front of the transmitter and receiver but the range has been quite good and have been consistently firing as well so overall excellent little kit for the money